Hello folks and welcome back to Bay Spring. Here we are in June and we are just about to do the line work. We thought we did this when we'd done all the fills initially but obviously we've missed some bits. In the last episode we've gone around, done all the weeding and also we sorted out the nitrogen levels on our fields and they're all where they should be more or less give or take little bits here and there but yeah so what we're going to do now is start doing the line work because as you see we are underutilized with the line here and we've already missed some bits so lovely and yeah it'll be interesting to see how that changes in the color and yep still missing bits of line there we go it's not as big as the fertilizer spreader that's one thing I should remember, but yeah, we're putting down so at 1.75 tons per hectare. So yeah, it's not too bad, and yeah, the river's always a bit very loose on the back end, just because there's a tracked tractor. Yeah, the fun controls on the pad uh, is one of those things that have to be desired. And yeah, we're going through quite a bit of lime, so maybe worth hiring a worker and leasing out a second spreader, I think. Let's just give that a go, shall we? Because I'm sure there's more areas, I know there's more areas where we need to put lime down, so why not? So there we go. Get a worker off from that. So yeah, let's go to here, go to spreaders, and yeah, there's a few options for us, so, ooh, do we go with this, what we've already got, or do we go with something different? Can't use the Amazons, they're only fertilizer, spreadles, or the Kubota God, not Godspeed, uh, Geospreads. I think they do that, so, do that. We have a bit of a larger capacity, let's go all blacked out. But yeah, I think the goal is going to be for today is hopefully start doing the harvest, so let's go and lease that. And we'll get a tractor hooked up to this in a sec, and I don't know why you stopped. Why? Oh god. <laughs> and there we go, worker's still going, that is good. So yeah, have a look at the PDA here. Potato field is fine, this field is fine, this field will be fine. It's just 144, 154, maybe 124, 125. I am confident with these other fields here, they look consistent to their soil type, so. Yeah, so kind of comparing the soil types. Uh, yeah, I think. Yeah, there's no disparity, so... Actually, what's silty clay at? So, that is... 6.75, it is patch here I'm looking at. That is 7.0 compared to... 6.0. Sure, that's not because of the crop type, right? Uh, yeah, that's both silty clay, and no... The crop height affects the nitrogen, but does it affect the pH? I wonder. I do wonder, but... So one way to find out, and yeah. Let's start doing a little quick time lapse. Get all this done, and I'll see you folks afterwards, and... Hopefully, we'll come to the conclusion of... One, the line is done, and two... Does this improve our environmental score across the board?
And there we go. We are done with the liming. And yeah, that didn't take as long as I thought. But yeah, the idea of getting the second spreader and adding it up to the front as a sort of like a tank extension worked out really well for us. So yeah, that was worth it and a huge working width as well. Compared to this, God, we've been wasting time. So actually, you know what? I'm not gonna do. I know we've got ten thousand years in here. Um, we can just offload it. Uh, like so. Boom, boom, boom. Let's sell this. I know we've got those two on these, but yeah, frig it. The money we're gonna get from this, we can just keep that on lease for a few months. So yeah, not too bad. Just over twenty grand in extra money. We'll leave that down here for the time being. And I can actually use that to get some of this stuff back because, yeah. I'm starting to clear up the shop area as well, as well as our yard. Yeah, we need to really take care of everything. Actually, what I can do is borrow the shop's. Or is it to front loader? Or forklift, should I say? Not front loader. There we go. Here's an electric. Actually, are these liftable? No, they're not. So, can we lift two of these at once, or is it just one? Uh, I think we can lift two. Let's give that a go. So, yeah, we, what we can do is just whack it somewhere on the side. At least um, customers can come in and that and still do your stuff. Well, maybe you need to do more than that, but I'm not going to push my luck. Just for the time being. So I'll keep them sorted here. We'll get a trader or something, and we'll collect these pallets again and probably take them back to the farm. So, yep, yeah, spare me a sec whilst I get these all moved over. Last slow, so yeah, not as neatly stacked these two compared to the first ones, but apologies, to, apologies there, a little see there. But yeah, so we'll spike this back here for now. There we go. So yeah, it is approaching half past five, starting to lose the light, so I think one thing we'll do is. Just keep up the animals' top, especially the cows, because they do go through a lot of food, as we have learned on this series, and I think it will require well, one of these straw and food, so like, fed it this morning and it's out of food, so oh, let's get these topped up and taken care of, and then we can skip till July.
I turned into a bit of an endeavor, didn't it? Didn't expect to do a time lapse there, but I thought, heck it. It's one of those things, like the background things, like, I don't often show, and that's one of the things I want to get into more than my Let's Play series going forward is, rather than just be all bash, 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 action, actions, actually have some, like, menial stuff, like, you know, clean up the cows and that. But yeah, so after a bit of faffing around, Actually, one thing I want to check is the age of our cows. Are any of them at... F Ooh. So yeah, we'll get rid of our older cows that are at 36 months. Got these ones at 35, so you know what? I'm going to sell those. Yeah, so... How old are they? 13 months, 10, 13... So yeah, we're fine for another year and that till about, yeah, this time next year, almost, well, May-ish, May-June. So obviously after 36 months, that's when the production starts to kick down. Actually, hmm, I wonder, do I do it? Do I get more cows in for the sake of having more milk? More milk, then we can actually handle. Uh, sure, why not? Am I interested in f puberty and that stuff? No. So, frigate, let's get more cows in. Worst case scenario, we'll just get more silage in because obviously TMR gives them 100% off their required feed and all that stuff. And that is going to consume a lot more TMR now. So, it's going to be more of a pain in the ass to deal with. Lovely. Good thing we got these two milk extensions put in missing the time I put one down. But I slightly moved over some stuff and that. So now it doesn't collide with the manure pit. And that is Actually I won't see. Is that filled up to the brim? That is a hundred and thirty-three thousand litres. How much TMR do these cows consume now? I wonder. How much? Uh, is that 133,000 a year? So, 1337, whatever it was. So, that is 18,000 a year. Say, not produce, consume in one hour. That is what? 180, 360. Uh, that, that's like 400,000 a year off. Oh, God. What have I done? <laughs> oh, right. Let's just do some farming before I oh, overreact on that. Well, I've, I've already overreacted on that. But yeah, let's look at our Redman score. That is, in that episode, it was 70 or 71. So yeah, because we're at 74 now, that's good. And obviously, I know we didn't do rolling on a lot of this, didn't we? Because yeah, I got to the point where I was like, screw the rolling and that, so. If we look at what needs rolled in. Oh no, actually, it was just the wheat, no, the barley fields. Everything else has been rolled, so in theory, our bonus should be good. So, yeah. Look at our barley fields. Yeah, 5% that is from the rolling and mulching. That is to be expected. Ah, maybe it's the mulching I didn't do. Yeah, I think it was the mulching. Obviously, the yields are going to be a bit over the place with soybeans. Just because soybeans require no fertilizer whatsoever. So, if you look at the nitrogen, really, that should be on zero. But I see from soybean fields down here, now you've got a bit of nitrogen in it. And sections over here has got nitrogen. So, it's not going to be as great, but it's a good area. So, 79%. 79, yeah, 5, 79, 80, it's like, a bit of a weird glitch, but it is perfect. I think if we can look at the Avenger score breakdown. Uh, where is it to? Yeah, soil type, so yeah. There we go, we've got 100 there now. Again. And if you look around, it's all about 69, 70, 100 up there, nice. 
94, 65. Of course, all this is plowing, right? Uh, yeah, nitrogen's a bit iffy. But yeah, apart from the nitrogen, which we will fi fix. And yeah, I think once we get the harvesting done, when come to do our final harvest, we should be fine. Because yeah, just looking at that, it's all nitrogen in that. That is manageable. If we can perfect next year for the last crop we're going to do, don't know what it is. Could be potatoes, could be wheat, could be poplars. I don't know. But whatever it is, we need to nail it on the head. So, yeah. Besides from having the mind heart attack with how much feed we're consuming now. Let's do some harvesting. I'm pumped for this. So yeah, we've got the wheat. No, we've got the barley at least. But also, is the wheat ready? So if we go to our crops, grow in. And let the game update. Yep, that is ready. That's ready. Actually, do we have any harvest contracts? No. Actually, you know what? Better be a sec. See, let's see if I can change that. It didn't work out as planned. Well, sort of did. Not really. Got one harvesting contract available. And yeah, pretty sure there's no more contracts has popped up since then. Nope. Well, no worries. We'll get those done in our own time now. Our own accord. And yeah, relatively serviced up in that, so don't need to worry about it. Apologies there, phone call, but yeah, so we'll fill up anyways with fuel. There we go. But yeah, now we need to start earning some money in because yeah, we're down to 66 grand. And I think we'll we'll manage. I think we'll just about manage. We've got eggs, we've got tons of milk to sell. We've got, we've got tons of slurry now as well, so we're not desperate for cash in a way. I think yeah, we can manage by a lot of it is just the feed and I may have to buy silage and that. That's, that's going to be the only thing is buying the silage for the cows, but... Yeah, because we've look at the large sacks of bales. Uh, 1700 for three and a half thousand a year. Well, that was a glitch in the recording, but yeah, as I was saying about the silage bales, so... Again, we have options like... Three and a half thousand liters for seventeen fifty for the base game. However, after looking around, the best deal you can find is not that one. Slightly better than base game seventy ten. Is the liftable bells pack by use? Because things like yeah, one thousand seven hundred fifty for six and a half thousand liter bells. Twelve fifty for seven and a half. Actually, the round ones are worth more, so... But yeah, still, look at that. 60,000 years for 11 grand. We're going to need at least six of those, so... In order to feed our cows a day, when we run out of food, it's going to cost us 66 grand a month. Well, in-game day, a month, same thing almost, but... Oh, uh, yeah... Yeah, I'm just going to do some harvesting, I'm going to do actual farming in that. The cow problem, it is a problem now and it will be a huge problem later on. That's for a future farmer envoy to deal with. Present envoy, we're going to be doing some farming and harvesting. So, on to the Kubota. Hop into the 770. And here we go. I actually get hooked up. Unfold the harvester. Oh yeah, we've got two barley fields here. Got the tray over ready. So I think we will need it. And yeah, we will be baiting the straw. And the ferret's got so much straw. I'm half tempted to just set it outright. Get the tray over after we've done baiting. And yeah, just set it straight away. So long as we've still got like 1.7 million years, 1.5 million years of straw. Yeah, we can get away with maybe send half of that. Yeah, we need to figure out the straw as well, because we're consuming 400,000 litres of 
food a month, let's just say, give or take, a couple of thousands here and there. How much straw are we consuming? Yeah, that is going to be a problem for us. Actually, well, no, so we're saying we're strong about money. Can we get a bigger combine with a bigger capacity? I don't know why I'm looking at bigger combines because we're struggling for money as it is. But yeah, go for the 690. Because what's the horsepower of our combine? That is 374. So this is the one I'm using on Court Farm at the moment. And there's a reason for the bigger headers. But even if we stick with the smaller header and have the bigger capacity. That is 310. Oh no, not having that one. Yeah, 310, smaller. But yeah, can we get away with. What's kind of the capacities? When does it go up? Until we hit the 990s. So that is. 254 grand. How much can we get for our combine now? I wonder. Not a lot of money because we got you, so. Scrap that idea. I'm not going to go down that route. I'd rather save our money for the cows because they're going to be very expensive, but. If we're producing a lot more milk now, since we've got a lot more adult cows. 500 adult cows compared to 400. That's an extra 25% of milk production per month. So combine that with the dairy. Hopefully we can offset the costs off the animal feed. Oh, I really hope so, but yeah. Anyways, I've been waffing on enough. I've had enough panicking. I just want to sit back, relax. Enjoy the scenery of the hills of the Irish countryside. And yeah, just get harvesting off the barley. So yeah, let's get this all done. Or at least the barley at least. And then I'll see you folks afterwards once we start debating.
there we go. We are done now with harvesting the barley. And yeah, I've done exactly what I said I wasn't going to do. Took out a and bought a bigger combine. Or why not? But then immediately afterwards I thought, shit, I could have just leased the combine. And it'll be a far cheaper than buying it outright. As usual, oh well, here's what it is, let's go. Let's just deal with it. So there we go. Filling that up. Does mean we need to put uh, well, I'm not gonna buy, we'll wheel these the corn headering, I'll buy a corn header. Unless we do chaff and that with a forge harvester. Eh, maybe. I know he was gonna do corn oil, but if we need silage. Makes sense just use that corn to make chaff, right? Right. Oh well. Oh man, still it wasn't this episode was going with today, but a bit of a change of vibe is always good. Change is good. So what we'll do is park this along the path here. Plus we need to take this over to the wheat field, and the wheat we'll use for animal feed for the chickens. Barley on your rent. That can be sold. So we've got from these two fields 44,000 a year. So I'll say it's respectable, very respectable in that. So best price is at Bicepin Garage. So let's go and sell them. There we are at the Bicepin Garage. And yeah, let's go and sell. Technically, yeah, we could have waited, but I'd rather have that boost in income. And, alright, so we didn't get all that crop because obviously we've accepted a contract for field 52. Ah, right, fair enough. But at least we've got a decent bonus because of our environmental score. That's plus like that, at least. And, yeah, we're at 316 grand. And, in fairness, we can start paying back some of this loan. I think so. If we go to our finances, say you leave us with about 200 grand left. So, yeah, still 485 grand to pay off. And that will be paid off before we end up end series, because I think what I'm going to do with how ending series is sell everything with the money we got, you know, just go to a different farm. Different, sorry, do series on a different farm with the money we've got. <clears throat> yeah, but uh, that's the idea at least. Obviously, the plan for the next Let's Play series is do a vintage survival series and something else to replace No Man's Land and By Spring. Because No Man's Land has come to an end as well, we will be ending up for a sort of vintage survival. Maybe do a Let's Play series on Zilonka. So I have just literally in recording this episode, have purchased and downloaded the premium expansion with the year or two season pass. So if we have a look here, go to our tools. So yeah, we've got all the equi equipment in that and we can plant uh, where is it to? Crop candor, red beets, and carrots and parsnips. So, maybe for a final harvest, do parsnips. I don't know. I doubt I'd do that because I've got plans for that already on Court Farm, perhaps. Uh, two sex. Make sure. Dang it. Don't want to be that size. I want it to be the bigger size. Oh well. Minor correction, but so yeah, we'll go and bell with this. Get loaded up onto the trader, and then we'll just sell everything. Cause yeah, again, why not? There we go. Now we're getting the bigger size bells. Ah, uh, wait a minute, it's 187 your bells, but we're getting a bigger capacity. Uh, why is that? Uh, 
Uh, I'm not sure on that part, to be honest. Is that part of a recent update? I knew this was recently updated, I just, you know, updated it, didn't really pay attention to it. Thought maybe just some login issues, not login issues, but some, I don't know, technical stuff, not a capacity thing. Alright, fair enough, anyways, <laughs> I ain't gonna complain. Do these bigger bells. Saves all the amount we have to transport, and... I'm assuming these are going to be liftable, right? Or do we need a loader? Actually, let's have a look. Yeah, we're almost full here. I think we're going to get, what, 50,000 here, Bell? Something like that, at least. See, so, yeah, there we go. That's been dumped. And yeah, we're doing 50,000 of your bells, I'm guessing. I did not expect that, and I did not plan that. I swear I didn't plan anything like that, but hey. It is what it is. So yeah, if I had to guess, we'll get four bells out of this. Actually, reset the bell counter. I was even already done one bell, so if I had to guess. Doing this strip and that strip. I think we get about another four or five bells out of this. At least. So, yeah, I think what we'll do to get all this done is in a little short time now. So, yeah, let's get all this done. And I'll see you folks after once, once we're done here. And yeah, we're doing this at an incredible speed, so let's whack the speed back a little bit at least. But, yeah, let's go and get these bells. So yeah, actually it wasn't that far off, actually. I said about four or five extra bells. And technically we got five extra bells. So we've got five 50,000 year bells and a small 10,000 year bells. So that is 260,000 years of wheat. Not wheat. I wish. Yeah, 260,000 years of straw. So yeah, that's going to get us about... 20 grand or so because at the moment best place to sell is at Buy Street Mart. Yeah, we can wait for the price to go up. However, I am in a sell market, not a buy market, and yeah, I just realized what I've done here, so bear with me a sec. Let's just move you out the way. There you go, shoot. There we go, in position, so yeah. Let's go and unload. And let's sell these bells. So that is 26,700 quid we got. Plus an additional 2 grand for our environment score. So our rent score is at 77. So that gives us a 8% yield, not yield bonus, a sell price bonus. So you know what? I'm actually happy with that. Not too bad. How's the cows doing? Food-wise, okay. Halfway through. No surprises there. But yeah, so I think what we'll do next time is... Finish off the harvest. Doing the wheat. Get that bailed and sorted. That shouldn't take too long since this is just one field. But yeah, with the wheat, what we'll do is simply that for ourselves. Ain't the selling right thing. 
just keep it for feed for the chickens. Because they will need it over the coming months. Uh, why are we getting in the barrier there? Is it the header getting caught? I don't know why that was. Yeah, okay, okay, there's a button there and all that and stuff, but overall, shouldn't really have been affecting it too much. Yeah, so far, navigation wise, with a 30 meter header, that ain't too bad. Let's do it in cab. But yeah, I think as well, next time, oops, that's in the way. Try to think. I may just skip to the potato harvest, to be honest. Or doing the corn chaff, maybe. Is that a stage now where we can cut it now for chaff? And in a video I'd done very early on in the life cycle of FS32, of when it's the best time to harvest chaff now, make chaff now. Actually, turns out when it's at a stage where it is now, so if I go to this here, so yeah, we have a look, it's still growing. And if we look at the growth cycles, or the growth stages, I'll say that is, what, halfway through? And we can harvest it now. There's no reason for us not to harvest it now. And uh, dang it, I got caught. But I'm fair enough, got to be a bit cautious now with what I'm doing, but overall, I'll say it's too bad. Imagine hedgerows fine. Get through the gate. Eesh. Oh, that is super duper tight. There we go. Let's go into the fields a little bit. There we go. Get unfolded. So, yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll finish this off. Start doing potatoes. Start doing the field prep work for this year's planting. Again, I'm not sure what we're going to do, but we'll find out together. So yeah, that's what we're going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share with them, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to our channel yet, then please consider. But, for just to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, it's a performer and voice stream. And I'll see you all very soon.